Yo, what's up? Inside of this box is my new Zion Weeble S gimbal, and today we're gonna see how hard it is and how long it takes me to unbox and balance it for the first time on my A7 III blindfolded. All right, so if you guys have heard of me, you've probably heard of Lee Zavitz. He is the person who did this challenge. I saw it, I commented, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it myself. And here we are. So let's get a timer going. I, I don't, I can't even see it, so I'm just gonna put it on the screen, but we're gonna see how long it takes. Here we go. Three, two, one, begin. I don't know which way is up. I feel like this way is up. Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. I don't know what I need in here. Okay, I need this. What is this thing? That's a riser, I think. Is that a tripod? First things first is I gotta get this tripod piece on here. And let's get this thing ready to be set up. Okay. So I had I had the um, the Zion Weeble Lab before this gimbal, and I was pretty quick at balancing that because I used it really often. This part in particular right here, I think is pretty different from that gimbal. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay, I was worried about this part. That's, that's the part I wasn't sure about. The, the latching mechanism between this gimbal and the last one was, is really different. Oh, oh, yes, okay, 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 here we go. Now we're cooking. Is that it? Come on, did I get it? Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, good. So, the way, if you guys, oh, that was almost bad. So what I'm doing right now, if you guys don't know, is I'm trying to find a balance point where the camera doesn't tip forward or backwards. So I think it's pretty good there. Now we gotta see which way it goes here. Oh, I don't know where this lock is. Oh, here we go. Okay. Nice. Okay. Wow, I'm making pretty good headway on this. Okay, I think front to backwards is pretty good now. Now we're on to side to side. So unlock this guy. Oh, it tips left. Okay, we gotta find where it doesn't tip left or right anymore. Oh no, where's the latch? Oh, this is different from my last gimbal. I don't know. Oh, found it, found it, found it, found it, found it. Cool, okay. Now the last one is one people usually forget. You cannot forget this. If I tip it left and it falls forward. Yeah, okay, it fell forward. We gotta undo, undo this. Here it is. Let's slide it back. Let's try again. Here we go. Did it tip anyway? Yeah, I, I, I can't tell if it's tipping. I'm relying on it hitting my hand. I think it's good. Okay. So if it's good, I'm going to un undo everything. Right now it's all loose. And if I put it in a position, it should stay where it is. I think I think I got it. Is it staying? Okay. All right. I think I got it. Okay. Here we go. Uh, where's the power button? Oh, 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 geez. Oh, geez. Okay. That, I think it's good. Hey, we got it. I don't know what the time is, but we got it. Wow, that didn't feel too bad at all. I'm lucky that this gimbal is really similar to my last one, because this, that was pretty good. Lee Zavitz, thank you so much for this cool, cool challenge. I didn't know what I was gonna film this week, so I'm happy that you inspired me with this one. No problem, bro. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Wow, that is bright. So usually at the end here, I do a little like behind the scenes thing, but I mean, there's not really much to see today. I have my A7 III recording. That's my phone over there, that's the main angle. I got the Insta360, you guys can see kind of here what's going on, because I have this on my head, and that's about it. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you guys later.